Tony Dogan, today's match, 1-0, very fast, goal from you, a nice one. <laughs> yeah, it was a tough game, you know, the Portuguese girls, they don't want to, they don't want to go out of this tournament and you could see that by the performance, you know, they've thrown everything at us tonight, but we were resilient, we stood up against them and we showed the strength and depth of our squad, you know, Mark made a lot of changes, but, you know, we were very comfortable and got the result in the end, that's what we come to this tournament for, we wanted three wins out of three and we've done that. England start uh, with high pressure, there was always two people on the man with the ball and then after, let's say, 20 minutes, uh, the tempo went a bit down. Yeah, I think the early goals on that, I think once you score early, you kind of take your foot off the pedal, which isn't too good for us, but it was good that we got to half-time um, and Mark got us back together and I think you're seeing after half-time, we came out and we were blazing again. Um, it's important, you know, obviously there's a lot of players out there, they want to prove us prove a statement to the manager and show, show they are good enough to play in this tournament. Um, so there was a lot of energy about the team, but it was good for Mark to come back in and recompose us. And, you know, we went out there and got the win in the end. And after 2-1, England had the team completely under control. Yeah, we did. As I say, we grew into the game. We realised that it wasn't just about, you know, individual performances. It was about the collective and the team on the whole, you know, getting another win under our belt and carrying on the momentum of the past two games, I think. You know, we're on fire at the minute in this tournament and that obviously helps us going into the next game. Uh, and what's more important, I think, 9-on-9, nine nine, but almost every player was on the pitch. Yeah, obviously it's good. It keeps a happy environment when all the girls are playing. You know, every individual's had minutes now, bar Casey, who's been injured, unfortunately, and also Carly Telford. But they're great members of our squad and, you know, it really helps us to pull together as a team and help each other out. And whatever team Mark selects, you know, we're great at coming together and getting behind the girls, whoever's on the pitch. Now, the tournament really starts with immediate elimination and it's going against France, one of the favourites. Yeah, it's going to be really difficult, but we're coming into this tournament, we're also one of the favourites, so it's going to be a tasty affair, but one we're really looking forward to and one we're ready for. I think if there's any time we want to play France, it's now. Um, obviously, our team, you know, full of confidence um, going into the game, and um, the strikers all on form as well. You know, the girls are all off the mark now, which is pleasing to see, um, but it'll only help us and put us in good stead in the France game. And now it's just then today to score yourself. Yeah, obviously I was delighted. Um, obviously it's about the team and getting through, but to get on the score sheet as a striker, you know, that's my job and so I'm glad to do it today. Last question. There were a lot of English fans here. There will probably come more. Do you have to say something to those fans? Because they do terrific. Yeah, the support of the fans, you know, has been amazing. I think we've had over a thousand at each game and that support, you know, the girls fully appreciate it and we hear them every minute of the game. To have our friends, our families in the stands and come over in the numbers, you know, is massive for us and we want to keep progressing for them as much as we do ourselves.